Hi everyone, this is Rina. Welcome to my channel. So by the time you're watching this, everything has already happened. Uh, on this video, I am covering on the 15th general election, how I participated as a voter. So do watch on. Uh, there will be some food as well. Good morning, people. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, for those who are in Malaysia, I guess you all have seen that you know, around the streets they've been hanging all these election campaign banner. And today is the very day where there will be history to be made again. Yes, it is the gen the 15th general election for Malaysia. <laughs> And I'm currently heading towards the voting polls to cast my vote. Oh, I just have to cast. This is the place where they, they'll be having the voting station is. Uh, so that's where I'm heading. Today they specifically close it for the public to go there and line up for voting. Already seen traffic uh, started picking up already as everyone is gathering, getting ready for the queue to vote. Uh, there are some tents also of other campaigners around. Okay, I've done my voting already. So now I'm going to be heading out. That's pretty much it. Okay, at least I got it done already. I did my part and we just hope the best and see how history is being made. The voting process, uh, including the queue and everything, is just under one hour. So it isn't really that long. I mean, it's very efficient, uh, more efficient this time. Uh, for people who came up on the early queue, there is uh, so long. Uh, the queue, uh, the crowd is relatively small. This is how the surrounding traffic is. Uh, there are still uh, flags here. Some, you know, it's just pretty normal. Uh, other places could be much more crowded. Uh, this is just a small neighborhood. That is contesting with each other will be this uh, blue color flag with the white scale. And there's also the red one. Uh, 
they are having a very heavy competition on rallying the voters sentiment. After this, I decided to walk along this Jalan 46 slash 26 on this part along this road where I decided to head towards this Kedai Makanan dan Minuman Ramad. This where they serve our some good mama food. Usually they got prata and then they got nasi lemak in the morning and evening. This is how the surrounding neighborhood is. In case you like to see, there are shop houses. Most of the shops are currently closed because it is a compulsory day for them to close off and for the staff to go off voting. Uh, they made it. They made it as a law here. Although for those who are working in the retail or service or FMB, they may be taking turns. You know, to go queue for voting, they will be having shifts. Okay, after I'm done with the Kedai Makanan dan Minuman Ramad, I decided to walk down here to pre-pack some food for later consumption. And I decided to stop on this place called Restaurant Ui Sun. Uh, particularly not inside of this area, even though inside there's plenty of other stalls. But I'm targeting would be stalls which only opens from morning until the late afternoon and afterwards it closes. Uh, there, is, there isn't a, a, pro a proper name for it. So it's only open on outside, on the corner of this restaurant. Hey, some other one. I'm finally home and this is what I've managed to bought since I feature I feature the part where the man is cooking the bread and with the meat. This is what they call the bakwa bread. Uh, in Cantonese we call it siu lo ti. That's basically Inside here, it is a sandwich that has this uh, pork jerky. It's a roast. It's a smoke, small pork jerky, and then they got chicken floss, and then uh, some cucumbers and the mayonnaise. It is one of my say nostalgia food. From time to time, I like to visit this to get this. It's a simple meal. This is one of the things that I had when I was a kid back then. And it's great to see this actually makes a comeback after a long time that I've not seen it. Definitely recommend trying. It tastes really great. Bon appetit. Mm. Along with the break just now, I also bought this. This is what they call siu pao in Cantonese. 
It is basically a uh, oven uh, baked bun. Outside is crunchy, crispy, and inside of it there's a uh, pork meat filling. It is sweet on the inside. Let's have a bite. Here goes. I don't know if you could see that. This is how it is. It's actually pretty good. I like it. I like it when it's hot. Mm. Mm. Over at the vendor there, they sell the option of chicken meat or pork. But I prefer to have the pork because it's savoury. Chicken is not bad as well. Mm. I mean, this one is um, famous in the neighboring state in Seremban. <coughs> uh, sometimes you can see the trademark of their um, delicacies called Seremban Siu Pao. Okay, gonna eat the remaining one. Okay, I had my meal and then I had a bit of a nap because uh, yesterday. Yesterday I was so excited to go and work I and mean, my mind has been occupied. I didn't manage to sleep. At last finally I was able to sleep. And as of the recording on this part of the clip, it is 9.20 p.m. Uh, still anxiously waiting for the election results. I uh, have positive hopes. Uh, hopefully things will turn out see how history is going to be made. Normally, I do not like to be involved in politics, but this is my country, and when whoever that has been put in charge, they are the ones who decide the policy and, it, and also the laws. So it affects everybody down to myself as well. I, I mean, I also felt the effect, I guess everyone who is in the lower category, uh, the lower income category, earns, who is like barely making much, those are, those are the ones who are really affected. In conclusion, I can say that not only this time that we should be voting, but in the future, so we need to vote as well because we, as the younger generation, are the ones who will be inheriting this country's mess and also the along with the benefits and the disadvantages, everything. So it's important to pick the best leader who could manage this, you know, think about the citizens' well being. Uh, and then manage the financials and bring our country's reputation to a better international standing. For the first time in history, we got a hung parliament. Uh, that means that neither one of the coalition parties managed to achieve a two-thirds majority support. And in the end, the resolution, they had to form a unity government comprised of two to three coalitions. Well, it is an unexpected result, though I will not care that much already at this point. I've already done my part as a citizen. So we just uh, hope for the best for this new unity government, the first of its kind to think of this country and then make it better again. That's my hope. Okay, uh, now it's 6am already. Uh, while I'm editing this video, I guess at this point also must be tired of seeing my face already. So that's the end of this vlog. Uh, there are other things that are you know, scarier things that happen, that transpire during the course of this election. But I just decided to keep it minimal and positive. Uh, if there's any other you know, content request that is within my capacity to make, uh, do 
you know, can leave a comment or you know send me a PM and I'll try to make it. I got other travel vlogs will be coming soon. Uh, pending on editing, I can only do so much at the moment. Uh, if you enjoy the this channel so far, please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell button. It will mean a lot to me to grow this channel. Thank you very much, and hope you have a great week ahead. Malaysia, Maju.